Hey, what's up, party people? It's Rachel here. Another week of the So and So Show, and we're talking about love. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, Kellen has a great Bible story for us this week, so I will see you right back here afterward, okay? What are you doing, John? Oh, uh, hey, Brandon. Oh, somebody asked me to record myself reading a book. What? Yeah, it's called an audiobook. Apparently, they're really popular. I don't know why. the so-and-so show i'm brand and i'm john and what's love got to do with it everything because uh -huh. today we're talking about a crazy little thing called love uh some people think love is a battlefield yeah while others are all out of love mm -hmm. but the truth is you can't hurry love and you certainly can't buy me love <sighs> there's no denying the power of love <laughs> yeah oh, thank, thank, you. You. thank you thank you we appreciate it very kind uh <laughs> i think you missed a few Cassie, oh. what are you doing in the middle of the show? Yeah, and there's a, there's like a million songs with love in the title, so we had to pick and choose, or this show would be very, very long. <laughs> well, can you help me, please? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I uh, well, my phone went to sleep, and I need someone to put the ah, passcode in again. You know the... <sighs> yeah, Thank give you. it, give it. <sighs> Thanks. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is Cassie. Uh, she's John's cousin. She's recovering. Uh, from an accident. I, I walked into a glass door. Yeah, because you were videotaping yourself and you weren't even looking where you were walking. Well, yeah, but that video got 300,000 likes. That is great. Okay, your phone's turned back on and I set it so that it won't turn back off. So, oh, come on. Okay. We're in the middle fine, of a show. Fine. Where were we? Uh, I'm not sure, uh, but it doesn't matter because it's game time. Woo! What are we playing? I'll give you a hint. If I can name one thing that you love. Oh, comic books, drums, red vines, Leroy Demon paintings. But at the same time also terrifies you, what would it be? Ooh. Wild animals! Cassie! What? It's true. Also, can you scratch my nose? It's driving me crazy. You know what? You can't just run in here and ask me to scratch your nose right in the middle of a show. Oh, it feels so good. Wait, why? Because we're in the middle of a show. Oh, sorry. So was it wild animals? Yeah. Uh, it's time to play Name That Wild Animal. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm glad to see that we have a TV. For a minute there, I thought you were going to bring on actual wild animals. <laughs> Would I do that to you? <laughs> yes. You're right, but not this time. <laughs> okay, this game is simple. An image of a wild animal will pop up on the screen, mm -hmm. but it will be way zoomed in. The first one to guess the animal wins the point. Cool. Oh, and you out there can play along too, so see if you can beat Brandon in it. Yeah. Do you mind opening this for me? Cassie! What? I know you're in the middle of a show, but what am I supposed to do? Thanks. I'll, I'll put one in my mouth. Big one. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Great. I'll get that later. Okay, uh, first animal. Here we go. <laughs> All right, that's, oh. Wow, okay. That is close. <laughs> it looks like uh, hair. It's, it's so an animal with hair. Well, that narrows it down. Yeah, Maybe a yellow. A... Oh, I think that's a stripe. What's... Look at that, that right there. Uh, I, I, I think it's a bee. No, really? Can yeah. you... Oh! How did you do that? Yes, I've seen these things up close way too many times. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. All right. Open, please. <laughs> Thank you. Not here. Uh. Next animal. Oh, oh boy. Uh, um, it's kind of wrinkly. I'm guessing. 
like uh, elephants are wrinkly, but it's not the right color. No, is no. it a red elephant? No, no pink, there's no red. What animals are red? Oh, oh, is it a rooster? What? Rooster? Ah, oh, oh. look at that! Yeah, yeah. Wow, okay. How did you pull that one out? I That's don't know. crazy. I was good. We're tied. Okay. Okay, here we go. Next animal. Um, oh, Ooh, it's great. Okay, now that. Could be okay. a dog. <laughs> oh, elephant. Uh, mm, uh, was well, a rhinoceros. A lion. Cassie! Oh! oh. What? It was obvious. Wait, you Where cannot just join in the middle of a... What? We're in the middle of a game show. You can't join because it's the middle of a show. It's, it's fine with me if she wants See? to play. Them. Fun. All right. Okay. This is the last animal. We've, we, we've got a three-way tie, so a correct guess wins. Got it? Here yes. we go. Oh, man. Uh, I, who can tell what that is? It's... Is the white part part of the animal? Is that like the air around it? A giraffe. There's no way that's a giraffe. What? What do I win? Nothing, go! Get out of here, middle of the show! Oh. Get out, get out! Right, right. What, we're in the middle of a show. Yeah, can, yeah, we just, yeah. can we just keep going? Yeah, sure. Um. Oh, it's Bible story time with Kellen. What's up, guys? Hey, Kellen. Hey, do you have something you can teach us about love? We could sure use it right now. Really? What, uh, what's going on? John's cousin, Cassie. No, we're fine, Kellen. I can't wait to hear the story. In fact, you need some help. I'll help you. Hmm. I wasn't really planning on having anyone like, you know. Oh, how about this? You tell the story, and uh, I'll provide the illustrations. Uh, sure. I didn't know you were an artist, John. No, <laughs> I am today. Let's art this thing up. Come on. Ooh, colors. All right, here we go. Well, today's story starts from the very beginning. In the beginning, there was nothing. But God was so full of love that he created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was formless and empty. Boom! I think you really captured the formless part. Well, uh, thank you. Can you turn on the TV? I don't really know how to work this remote. Not now, Cassie. Me and Kellen are telling a Bible story about love. Oh. Go. Okay. Uh, Continue, Kellen. So, then God said, let there be light. And there was light. I'll take it. God gathered the water into one place and dry land appeared. That's a nice beach chair. First one ever. God said, let the land produce plants and trees that grow fruit. Huh? B-A-N-A-N-A-S. God separated the day from the night. Then God's imagination went into overdrive. God filled the seas and the sky with living creatures. Birds that flew and fish that swam. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, the dolphin is sort of flying, but you get the point. It's in the water. Then God said, let the land produce every kind of living creature. And the land exploded with life. Is that a unicorn? Were you there? No, I wasn't. Then God said, let us make human beings so they are like us. Let them rule over the fish, the birds, and all the creatures. So God created a man. Man! Later, God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper who is just right for him. So God brought all the creatures to Adam to see what names he would give them. I would have gone with long neck spotty but Adam went with giraffe. Yep. Adam didn't find a helper that was right for him. So God made woman called Eve. Really, really something. I know. God made people to take care of the world and to love each other. God looked at creation and saw that it was very good. The end. <laughs> I even gave him credits. 
I gotta say, John, I'm very impressed with your drawings. I don't think I'll ever think about creation in quite the same way. Ah, oh, thanks, Kellen. Great story. I'm so glad God knew it wasn't good for Adam to be alone. Yeah, that was cool. It's true. God knew that we would need each other. We're better together. We need people to care for, and we need people to care for us. Yeah. Thanks for your help, Kellen. See you next time. See ya. I, uh, I see what you did there. What did I do? Cassie! What? Cassie, I'm, I'm sorry I wasn't kind or helpful or loving. In fact, I was, I was downright rude. Is there anything I can do for you? Well, I, I do need help clipping my toenails. Reveal the question! Oh, how do you know when someone loves you? Well, they take care of you when you're down or hurt and ask if there's anything that you can do. Instead of yelling at you and telling you to get lost. So what do you think? How do you know when someone loves you? Yeah, talk about it together. We'll see you next week for a brand new show. Now, about those toenails, though. Because oh, you know what? I just remembered I had to be somewhere yesterday and but, I forgot today. But they're really long. Ow, 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 Mmm, that's tasted yummy. Thanks. Perfect. Oh, no. Did, I, did you catch that? Oh, oh, oh no, you just man. gotta lick it. You it just went, gotta lick it. It went off right. your tongue to your nose, to your tongue, to your nose, and it, went, and it was awesome. <laughs> this is it. This is the one. Okay, here we go. I love oh. that. Oh! Ow! Not very oh, my good, neck. But... Oh, you want a gummy? I would love it. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> Get my there. glucose in there. Mmm. That tastes delicious. I thought it might. <laughs> 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 Oh man, he was not being patient with his cousin. Have you ever acted like that? Maybe less than loving? Okay, maybe downright rude? I think that was a great question they asked. How do you know when someone loves you? What is it about the way they treat you and the way they talk to you that lets you know they care about you? Let us know in the comments, send us a message, and how are you going to let somebody else this week know that you love them? What kind of things are you going to do for them? Are you going to compliment their outfit? Are you going to help them when they're having trouble? What if your friend is really sad and instead of being like, ew, don't cry on me and get your snot on me, you let them cry with you? <laughs> That's a lot of love. I know you can do it. So tell us how you're going to show love this week and let us know how do you know when someone loves you? We'll see you next week right here on The So-and-So Show. Bye, guys.